it's, uh, it's really good to be here. Uh, I was uh, clearing out uh, some old files in my uh, Washington uh, office a couple of weeks ago, and uh, I stumbled into a story from the April 9, 1974 Sun Bulletin, and for those of you that are newbies here, it was, it, that was a tabloid newspaper and a very good one. And it was about my leaving here to go to the University of Minnesota. Uh, there was actually a picture of me there. It's, that's my, either my confirmation or my bar mitzvah picture. I'm not sure which, but one or the other. And um, the headline said, um, McGraw wanted to do more. And it went on to say he wishes he could have done more here. And then it quoted me as saying, I wish that in two years I had been able to develop a better budgetary base for the university. Well, sometimes in life you get what you wish for. <laughs> so I got my wish back. And so perhaps this is uh, back to the future. But the core fact is that Binghamton University and our southern tier have an exciting future as partners. We are two sides of the same coin. The Southern Tier's future depends on the growth and success of Binghamton University and Binghamton University's success as a driver of economic and social development depends on the growth of its region and our mutual ability to work as partners together. And we do that now, and, and we do it very well. And we must continue and expand the partnership in every possible way. Together, we can be many things, many good things. If we are apart or indifferent to each other, we ain't, pardon my bad English, we ain't going anywhere. So is it easy? to do what I envision and what I'm sure you aspire to and what we all want, of course it's not easy. There are tough challenges in a, in a very harsh, very real world. Resources, that's the budgetary fuel that we need, is a key. But these are worthy challenges and we have skills and smarts here. A committed community, skilled workforce, emerging high-tech enterprises, lots of dedicated leaders, and Binghamton University is an entrepreneurial university with a Division I faculty, hard-working staff, many of the brightest students at any public university, and a growing national cadre of alumni who care about their university. And we have a national calling card, ladies and gentlemen. That's our high quality. It must never, never be compromised. Indeed, I'd like to suggest we should be dissatisfied with our quality and strive to increase our quality even more. Good as it is, we want to be better. I have a second message. This university and its partner region need to grow, both in targeted programs <coughs> and in student enrollment. I don't want to give anyone cardiac arrest. Uh, I'm speaking personally, but you know, I, I think we should think about 20,000 students and in the future maybe even more, given the powerful draw of our super high quality applicant pool. We must, however, never, never forget that it's our quality, our quality that counts in our research programs, our outreach and partnership programs, our teaching and learning work with undergraduate students, graduate students, and professional students. And there is a, a heck of a big qualification to our ambition to deliver on our core public serving mission. We can't do it and provide the only kind of education that's synonymous with a quality university without the resources essential to top teaching and research programs. And that is why Chancellor Zimfer and the Board of Trustees are spot on in pushing uh, the SUNY 
State University of New York empowerment program that would give this and the other university centers flexibility on our tuition charges and more freedom to develop partnership relations with business and civic organizations. My third point has to do with athletics. We are an academic institution with athletic programs, not an athletic institution with academic programs. Athletics should be, must be part of this university, and it can be done successfully and with the integrity essential to all of our activities and programs. Whatever happened in the past, and however as individuals, you and others, interpret the history, it's in the rearview mirror. Issues from the past are being dealt with and we're moving ahead. It's also worth noting, I think really worth trumpeting, that our student athletes are students in fact, not in name. The grade point averages right now are cumulatively at uh, 3.1. About a third of them are on the America East Commissioner's Honor Roll with a minimum grade point average of about 3.5. By the way, don't turn all the mics off. You know, I really would like to see both the men and the women's basketball programs. Maybe they will. Maybe I'll predict that they will. I'd like to see them win their conference title and, and keep going on. Now, forget that I said that if I'm off base, but th it's a possibility. Now, I want to make um, one more comment before going to your questions and your advice. Binghamton University is a key to its vital partner, its home here in the southern tier of New York. We are also a vital part of this state and of the State University of New York, and we are a national and international research intensive university. Someday, sooner rather than later, I want us recognized as a rare national gem among, among America's leading public universities, and I think we can get there.